Hey, what's up, guys? This is another story time. This is story time episode number two. Uh, just got some news about five minutes ago that uh, Don Sutton had passed away. I had the pleasure of meeting Don a couple times at golf tournaments. First time I met him at the golf tournament, uh, he you know he's pretty cool. Signed some autographs for me, and uh, you know I didn't talk to him much, but he, you know, he seemed like a cool guy. Fast forward maybe another two years and I met him at another golf tournament, Sarasota, Florida. And it was a PGA event where the Pro-Am Day, a bunch of former, league, former Major League Baseball players were playing. It was either that or it was the Dan Moreno Golf Tournament in Fort Lauderdale. It's been like in the 90s, so I, I, I can't remember. It was one of those two. It was a golf tournament in Florida. But anyway, you guys don't, you guys don't care about that part. I ended up getting him at hole one and I got him to sign a baseball for me. And as he signed the baseball, he took a, a pen and he put it on my shirt and he marked like a big spot like that on my shirt. You know, I didn't think anything of it at the time, but we went on to go get other people's autograph because we were getting uh, like Jack Nicholas and uh, Arnold Palmer and you know, a bunch of the other like baseball players we had like George Brett was there, and George Foster. Uh, I'm trying to remember some other people were there. I think Yogi Berra was there. Uh, there was there was tons of like Hall of Famers and stuff. And we went out and chased autographs, and then on hole 18, we decided to go back and get Don as he was finishing up, trying to get another baseball. I went up to him, and I was like, Mr. Sutton, could you please sign my baseball for me? And he looked at me, and he goes, Son, I already got you. And I was like, well, I know you already got me because you wrote all over my $50 shirt. You know, you know, at least you could give me an autograph for, you know, ruining my shirt. I just paid $50 for it. It was a 1996 uh, Olympic, you know, Atlanta Olympic shirt, you know, polo shirt. It was a nice shirt. I don't know if it ruined it or not, but, you know, I was playing it off because I wanted to try to get another autograph. Because the deal I had to work out with my friend is he got the first autograph and I got the second autograph because he paid for all the expenses. So I really needed a second autograph because it was going to be mine. So I tried anything I could. I was like, well, you, you ruined my shirt. You know, you should probably try to sign another autograph for me. It'd be nice. You know, that, that would be the, the nice thing to do. And he's like, I said, or at least give me 20 bucks to replace my shirt. You know, one or the other would be cool with me. He goes, hold on, buddy. I got something for you. He reaches in his pocket, acting like he's going to grab some money or something. And then he just like flips me the bird just flips the bird right in my face and uh, when I was younger I was uh, I don't know I guess I'm calmed down on now but I mean back in the day I, I would fight pretty easily so I was really wanting to get at him I was so mad and there, luckily there was like a six foot chain link fence between him and I you know he was behind the fence and uh he said, it was it's it's so it's so sad because I wanted to I wanted to fight Don Sutton and truthfully Don Sutton was one of the coolest guys in the world and my buddy my buddies harassed me for like the rest of the week they're like we can't believe that you're gonna get in a fight with like one of the nicest guys in the world but yeah like I said I told you the story wasn't gonna make me look good or really make Don look good we were both wrong in what we did, I believe. Uh, you know, you shouldn't have flipped me off. Shouldn't have wrote on my shirt. But like I said, I did, get to, I did let my temper get to the best of me. But I didn't jump the fence like I wanted to. I really did want to jump the fence. But that, <laughs> that's my memory of uh, Don Sutton. But uh, uh, like I said, I heard five minutes ago that he passed away. And I thought this would be the good time to tell my story like I said I know it makes me look bad but like I said I was young I had a temper uh, I said I, I think like I said I think he was wrong too but hey he was a cool guy and uh, I'm sorry that he died and uh, like I said he was one of my favorite players he really was but hopefully you guys enjoyed that story it was kind of a crazy story you know you don't often hear stories about you know, people wanting to fight the nicest guys in the world. But, uh, like I said, I'm not proud of it, but it happened. Like I said, it's been over 30 years ago. 
I was in my 20s. But uh, hey, hopefully you enjoyed the story. Please like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Have a good one, guys. Peace.